all right so now we're going to be making this render right here which you see on the screen right now uh so firstly we're going to be importing the car from the internet and then we're going to be texturing the car after that we're going to be making this whole city scene uh so we're going to be having this um road right here and we're also going to have the sidewalk and these um barriers right here um and this tree these trees right here and the buildings as well right so it's going to be a pretty simple process and i really hope you learned something new and also this render was made made using unreal's path tracer however you can render this with lumen as well uh using ray tracing or without ray, ray tracing as well uh, but the results are going to be slightly less um uh, less realistic so just keep that in mind right so firstly what i'm going to do is that i'm going to open up unreal engine you can just go to games and create a new blank blank project just be sure to turn on ray tracing if you have an rtx graphic card um because that's going to give you slightly better results if you cannot do that then it's no it's not a big deal um make sure to set it to blueprint quality preset should be maximum and just name it whatever you want and then you can just go ahead and create the project now however now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be opening up a pre-existing project uh, because i already do have all the assets and all the uh, materials and textures and stuff like that already imported so that I'd, i don't waste you guys time so i'm just going to be opening um, a recent project which i used so let's just open that however the process is going to be same if you create a brand new project as well um so what i'm going to do is that once this project opens i'm just going to go to file new level and i'm going to create an empty level so just create and now we can just press ctrl s so that um the save window opens up i'm just going to name this um car street underscore ss right let's just dismiss this uh, I'm, I'm gonna hold control on my keyboard and i'm gonna um move my mouse wheel down so that i sort of unzoom and so that i can properly see these oh, just ignore all these assets by the way uh they are from my previous projects you obviously aren't, aren't gonna have any assets if you have created a new project so yeah what i'm gonna do firstly is that i'm gonna go to landscape mode and we can just create a landscape just a basic landscape so that we have something to work with um, and something to import our car onto and then i'm going to go to window environment like mixer and then i can just create a skylight atmospheric light sky atmosphere volumetric cloud and high fog just so that we have a basic lighting setup ready uh and i'm just going to go to skylight and i'm going to turn on real-time capture so that our um shadows and uh, our shadows look more realistic just press save all save selected and now we can just go to the internet and we can choose a 3d model for, of a car so i'm just going to go to the internet and i'm going to search for a car 3d model and i usually use sketchfab.com uh, but you can use any of these other websites as well just be sure to use um a trusted reputable website and you can get free models as well or or you can just pay for models as well if you want um obviously paying for models is going to get, get get you better quality models usually that's the case um, but yeah just do your own research and just pick whichever model you think is the best right uh so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to be choosing a car the one which i chose in my previous scene was this one mclaren spider and this time um honestly i can just choose anyone um honestly i'm just going to choose this one because i already do have this imported so you can just download whichever model which uh, whichever model you like uh, but i'm just going to be downloading this mclaren spider again because i have textured and um used this model once so i know exactly how to work with this model um and the good thing about this model is that it does come with an interior as well so if you want an interior shot uh then just be sure to choose a model which comes with an interior because a lot of them are going to be empty from the inside um and so yeah just keep that in mind right so once you have decided a model be sure to uh, make sure if you want to download a free model make sure that it has this uh, download sign right here um otherwise it's not going to be downloadable for example this one right here is not downloadable and a few other ones are not going to be downloadable as well and if it has this dollar sign um next uh, dollar sign on it then it, that means it's paid so you can just pay for the model if you want and yeah just download the model and um, now you can either download it in fpx format fpx format is usually the best if it is available in this case it's not available um so we, we're just going to be downloading the obj format uh now the problem with the obj format is that you can't you cannot directly import it inside of unreal engine um if you do you're going to face a problem which i'm going to be showing you in just a bit so you can just download that all right so i'm just going to be cancelling this download because i already do have this downloaded uh so i'm just going to import i'm just going to open that let me go to my downloads folder and you can see it right, right here so just open the zip file and just go to the source file and it's going to give us this rar file and you're going to see that we have a dot obj file and a dot mtl file right uh so i'm just going to be dragging out this dot obj file and dropping it right here now the thing is if i just import this file inside of unreal engine so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to right click in unreal engine 
I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this car underscore SS. So basically the reason why I'm telling you to um, create a folder is because it's going to come up with, it's going to, the car is going to come in different um, pieces, um, which we're going to be assembling to make the car, right? So, 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 so that your scene doesn't get very disorganized. I want you to create a folder, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be importing that dot OBJ file inside of Unreal Engine like that. And if I press import, you're going to see that the problem is that it only comes in, I'm just going to ignore these errors, by the way. The problem is that it only co comes in one, um, what do you call it, in one file, right? And so that the reason why that is a problem is because we can't um, have one texture on the whole car, right? Uh, we obviously want different textures in different parts of the car. So I'm just going to delete that. Let me get rid of these as well by pressing delete. Um, and so what I'm going to be doing instead is that I'm going to be taking this um, .obj file into Blender. So I'm just going to be opening Blender. Now you can do this in other 3D softwares as well. And I am assuming that you know the basics of at least any 3D software. Um, so I'm just going to delete everything. Because usually it is generally um, assumed when you learn Unreal Engine that you at least do know some 3D software. So I'm just going to go to File, Import. And I'm going to be importing a Wavefront file, which is going to be a .obj file. And I'm just going to go to Desktop. And let's just browse over to... Where I had that, I think it was right here, clear and spider. Let's import OBJ. And inside of Blender, you're gonna see that it's gonna come in different uh, in different um, parts, which is perfect, right? So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be exporting this as an FBX. And that FBX file, I'm gonna import inside of Unreal Engine. So I'm just gonna to go to File, Export, and FBX. And so I'm just gonna be exporting it on the desktop. Let me just call this car. Actually, McLaren, right? Export FPX. I'm just going to go to um, Unreal Engine again. And let's just drag in that FPX file. Um, I think it's still exporting it. Yeah, I think it's done. Um, so I'm just going to be clicking M. There it is on the corner. I'm just going to be dragging that FPX file into Unreal Engine's content browser. Import all and make sure that your skeletal mesh is not turned on uh, and just ignore all these errors let's go down now you're going to see the good thing oh that has happened is that we have a lot of these materials and a lot of these assets which is which is exactly what we are looking for uh so how exactly do we bring this car in our scene it's pretty simple you just simply select the first asset uh so don't select any material just select the first asset go down to the last asset, hold shift on your keyboard and select that so that you have all these assets selected. Now you can just select any one of them and then drag them in our scene. And you're going to see that the car just appears in our scene. Perfect. I think it looks pretty good. And that is our car. Right. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be now before we move further, just click save all and it is going to take a bit to save all these files. And I will see when it's done. All right, so now the saving has been completed. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be starting with the texturing of this car.